Cinnamon, where you gonna run to? Cinnamon, where you gonna run to? Where you gonna run to? All on that day, will I run to the rock? Please hide me and run to the rock. Please hide me and run to the rock. Please hide me, Lord, all on that day. But the rock cried out. I can't hide you, the rock cried out. I can't hide you, the rock cried out. I ain't gonna hide you down. All on that day. Bassmaster Open Championship 2018, first ever championship in America. Took me eight years to accomplish, and uh, I'm here. The quality of anglers um, that are competing, what's on the line, it's win or nothing for me. And that was that was the attitude going into this tournament. There was no backup plan. It was it was win, and that was that was my only. My only train of thought going into it. I practiced for five days straight and I saw every different type of conditions, freezing conditions, raining, um, you know, the, the temperature really dropped. We got into fall type conditions, water temperatures starting to drop and I knew those fish were thinking about moving shallow. Daylight till dark practices every day trying to find something that was off the wall that these fish may not have seen, that I was thinking that other anglers aren't doing. It wasn't a matter of getting a check, sneaking inside the cut, any of that. It was, I had to find the winning fish. One in 28 shot and making the Bassmaster Classic, $50,000 boat and motor, 10 grand cash, Elite Series berth, the best shot I've ever had at making a childhood dream come true of making that Bassmaster Classic. To say I was giving it my all would be an understatement. Practice went well and I figured a little deal out by flipping these deep trees for smallmouth and I had it so dialed in by the end of practice I was calling my shots and I could do it from one end of the lake to the other and I've almost never been so excited to get into a tournament because I really thought that that was the winning deal, 13 to 14 pounds a day and then pick up the big glide bait and try and catch that one or two big kicker fish that would really make the difference. Went into day one, um, totally different conditions. It's gonna be real chilly after about 40 minutes. <laughs> One minute, anglers, one minute, go ahead and get a part. All right, one number eight. Oh. 
all the way from Australia, Carl Johnson. You know, slick, calm, cold, and sort of post frontal conditions. And these fish did a complete 360 on me. I mean, it just went away. What I'd found just went away. And when you find something that is so good and you're so excited about and it has just such massive potential, it makes it that much harder to let go of. couldn't let it go that day I just I had to find that bite again and I, I I think I fished about every tree and every bay all over Table Rock trying to make it happen and it just would not happen for me and you know that is a, a big mistake that you can make tournament fishing It just went away. What I'd found just went away. And when you find something that 
is so good and you're so excited about and it has just such massive potential, it makes it that much harder to let go of. I really feel like I should have adjusted, found something different, but I came in with four small mouth You know, I salvaged the day, only just, it was tough on everyone. Had just under eight pounds for four fish, so I left one out there. And that was super frustrating, because one more, I've got 10 pounds, and I'm sitting right where I need to be. in line now and uh, we're watching some of the weights come in and they're super low. I knew it was going to be tough when it's so tough on us like that. I know everyone's going to be struggling and it looks like the weights are pretty low. These four fish are going to keep me in it and uh, I've just got to, I've got to, you know, spirits are high. I've, you've always, you're always in it and fishing. I've got to go out tomorrow and just, and you know, catch a big bag, get back in this. There's still two more days to go. Carl Gothamson, all the way from Queensland, Australia. Carl's got himself four. He didn't get that fifth. Yeah, that one hurts, eh? Hey? It was uh, it was tough. Practice was awesome. Um, had a great practice. It's an awesome lake. Love Table Rock. I think 712 like keeps me in the hunt if I can yeah. catch 13, 14 tomorrow. I'm not out of it. You, know, you never are in fishing. And certainly not here this week on a tough Table Rock fishery. Give it up for Carl. Seven pounds, 12 ounces. Good I'm 19th already going into day two well behind the lead, um, you know, backs against the wall, everything is going against me. Um, but the thing is, in my eight years here, in my 10 year career in Australia, that's all I've ever known. That's all I've ever seen is being the underdog, adversity every single day, um, non-stop just trying to dig my way um, and fight my way to the top and nothing in this entire sport or in my life has ever come easy. These days, that kind of adversity is a walk in the park. And I take those kinds of challenges head on. I don't think of them as bad things. I'm like, well, what have I got to do? And have I still got a shot? And looking at the points, I knew I still had a shot. I need a big day. I need to make that 12 cut. And if I can make that 12 cut, then I know anything's possible. So day two throws everything it's got at me. I mean pouring rain, torrential rain, all day, daylight until the finish. It never let up on us once. And the fishing got better. So throughout the day, um, I, I, I'd caught a few fish, a few smallmouth flipping again. Um, I picked up the little Molex crankbait, the Sculpo. I caught a smallmouth and I had three big ones trying to eat that 
small, that crankbait out of the smallmouth mouth, um, which was crazy. Astro. And uh, I lost a good one on a crankbait, yep. and I'm down to the wire. Sun is down, freezing cold. That's how we already know when it's here. My dog will probably do it for a Louis Bell. That's just all he know, he don't know nothing else. I tried to show him. Yeah. I tried to show him. Yeah. 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 Gone on you with the pick and roll. Younger flame, he in sickle mode. This here with all the ice on in the booth At the gate outside, when they pull up, they get me loose Yeah, jump out, boys, that's Nike boys hopping our coops Way too big, when we pull up, give me the loot Give me the loot Was off the Remy, had up at post Had to hit my old town to duck the news Two, four hour lockdown, we made no moves Now it's 4 a.m. and I'm back up popping with the crew I just landed in Chase B mixes pop like Jamba Joes Different color chains, think my jeweler really selling fruits And they joking, man, know the crackers so, wish it so, was a so, news So I said To win the retreat, we all in too deep Play, play, play for keeps, don't play us a week So I said To win the retreat, we all in too deep Play, play, play for keeps, don't play us a yeah. week too formal, y'all know I don't follow suit. Stacy Dash, most of these girls ain't got a clue. All of these old I made off records I produce. I might take all my exes and put them all in a group. Hit my essays, I need the booch. About to turn this function into binary root. Told her I been, you coming too. In the 305, treat me like I'm Uncle Luke. Have to slot the top off, it's just a roof. Uh. She said, where we going? I set the moon. We ain't even make it to the room. She thought it was the ocean. It's just a pool. Now I got her open. It's just a ghost. Who put this shit together? I'm the glue. So and said. Shorty face, Tommy out the blue. So and said. So and said, motherfucker. So and said. Don't play us a week. Astro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. She's in love with who I am. Back in high school, I used to bust it to the dance. Yeah. Now I hit the FBO with duffels in my hands. I did half a Zan, 13 hours till I land. Had me out like a light, hey, yeah. Like a light, hey, yeah. Like a light, hey. Slept through the flight, hey. Not for the night, hey. 767, man, this shit got double bedroom, man I still got scores to settle, man I crept down the block, down the block Made a right, yeah Cut the lights, yeah Pay the price, yeah Think it's sweet, no, no It's on sight, yeah Nothing nice, yeah Vegas in my eyes, uh, Jesus Christ, yeah Checks over stripes, yeah That's what I like, yeah That's what we like, yeah Lost my respect, you not a threat left to go I've got four fish and I turned to Austin who's my co-angler for the day he's a he's a good mate a great guy good fisherman he won he had his three fish he sealed angler of the year for the co-anglers so the the mood in the boat was great except I was just fishing and realized like what am I doing like I've got to win this thing. Second is no good to me. Second does absolutely nothing. And I said to Austin, if I'm going to go out of this thing, if I'm going to get knocked out, I'm going to go out swinging. I picked up my big swim bait rod 
and started throwing that glide bait around even though the conditions were about as worse as you can get for an overcast cloud and no wind. And, but Table Rock, this time of year, it's weird, it acts weird. And those fish were on it almost like I've never seen it before. From the very first couple minutes, I had followers, I had fish biting it, and I knew my confidence level went through the roof. I said, I've got an hour and a half to get two bites to make the difference and make that top 12 cut. I started down on this first bluff wall. I had several bites. I was getting towards the end of the bluff wall. To make every last one of you feeling hurt to stop the world from spinning, make it feel inert to freeze time in the tracks and it will reverse. And this verse could get me killed, but I kill the verse. And there was this one tree that was just out from the bank, a single tree, nothing else around, just off the bluff point. And I make that cast. And that glide bait goes past that tree. I sink it down just a couple feet and I start working it just past that tree. And it, it gets past the tree and nothing, nothing, and that glide bait makes it all the way two feet from my rod tip. And this image will never leave my mind as a six pounder comes up underneath it and just absolutely destroys the big swim bait. I, I set the hook, she's got it, she runs up the boat and I know I've just got to put all my faith in that everything is good and swing that fish in. I can't let it jump and fight. That's the big key with swim bait fishing. But she ate it so close that I watched the bait leave her mouth and one hook just had her pinned in the corner of the jaw. And that made me hesitate for a second and I turned her went to boat flipper again and thought that hook's gonna pull the second I pull the weight out and on that on that hesitation she made a jump and I watched my lifelong dream go away in an instant just like that it was probably the worst feeling I think I've had in fishing for a very long time I'm still left with four fish. It's raining. There's an hour to go. Everything's against me. It was very, very easy to give up at that stage because that fish was everything and I knew how hard it was to get that bite again. But having Austin in the boat, getting those bites, I shook it off and... Uh, and I put my head down and I made every single cast count. And then I missed several fish. I missed over a dozen fish in the, over the next hour. Big smallmouth hitting it, largemouth spots. I couldn't get the hooks in them. They just, I didn't have that wind, which helps them really come into the bait, get those hooks in. And it comes down to the very last cast. one point there's five minutes to go I'm at least five minutes drive Austin's got the winning AOY fish in the boat I don't want to cut it short for him and I tell him I'm gonna have one cast off this point and then and then we're we're going back we're heading back so we roll up to the point I put the cast in Austin says here's where your five pounder comes man <laughs> and I said I need it to and just like a dream, a four and three quarter pound largemouth smokes the glide bait. And this time, no hesitation, 
put all my trust, those hooks have it. I boat flip that fish, it hits the bottom of the deck. I absolutely lose it, throw the fish in the well, Austin jumps down and we hammer back and make it back in with seconds to go. One of the, one of the best fish catches, um, you know, of my career and from the lowest of the low to the highest of the high, all in a matter of an hour and just be and the only reason that happened is because I decided not to quit and not to give in and uh, that's what's got me to here today. Take a picture. Six pounds, 11 ounces, one of the better co-angler bags of the Queensland, Australia, Carl Jockinson. Hit seven pounds and 12 ounces. Got yourself a limit. Okay. I need 12, 14, 13 pounds and five. 13, five. 13, five. This is. But I'm just absolutely stoked. I, today, you know, that this whole week, one, one more fish yesterday, I would have been right there in the hunt. But I said today, you know, I can I can make it happen if I can sneak in that 12 cut. But this whole year for me has been down to one cast and just not giving up grinding. Yesterday I got in with two seconds to go before I got a late penalty, just making every cast count. And today um, I had Austin, we just had a blast out there. He had his three fish, so we knew he was gonna win angle of the year. And uh, I got to fish and I had four fish with about an hour and 30 to go. And I said to him, if I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna go out swinging. And so I picked up my big bait again and uh and started catching them and i lost a six six next to the boat and then i caught a four and then i had a bunch of three so if i can get in this 12 cut and fish tomorrow i know anything's possible absolutely we've seen it i mean we've seen some guys have great days and then falter and then guys be consistent you're actually one of those guys had a rough day number one picked up it picked it up on day number two give carl a big round of applause way to rebound 13 pounds five ounces he's fishing on a saturday yeah, I wanna, if I don't make it, I want to say a huge thank you to all my sponsors. Oh, okay, I made it. Sweet. Well, I'll be fishing tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see you at Bass Pro Shops. Thank you. I had live YouTube live. Thank you to Bassmaster for letting me run that. We had 350-something people watching me all day on YouTube, so that's pretty awesome. And, uh, and yeah, we'll go out tomorrow, weigh in at Bass Pro Shops, and hopefully I can put a huge bag together and win this thing and make the classic. Awesome. Good stuff. Appreciate you. 13.5 sneaks me in the cut by ounces and gives me and my dream and keeps all the hopes alive. Yeah, uh, big tree. There, there was trees all on the, there's a ledge right along there and where it drops off, there's big trees and every time I come up on that tree, I just drop them. You were starting to make me mad because they were nice fish right. and I kept putting them on. I'm like, that's a two and a quarter. It's 14, three quarter inch. I'm like, are you kidding me? Could you see the bait on your grass? You can tell. Well, we are back at the Lance Camper, and I'm um, just finishing the final, final little bits of prep, making sure everything's 100%. We made the top 12 cut, which is pretty insane. I've made a couple top 12s this year on the opens, and I just really wanted to be fishing that third day, weighing at Bass Pro Shops. Today was pretty brutal. It um, poured rain all day. It literally never stopped. And I had to dig about as deep as I can get and uh, lucky I pulled the big bait out towards the end made a good decision there and uh, lost a six but caught a four four and a half 
and uh, made it happen. So we're in 11th, we're going into tomorrow, and I've got no pressure because I'm going to throw the big bait all day, and uh, we've got to win this thing, and I think it's possible. After what I saw, and conditions are looking good, I've changed hooks, I've got another big bait out, put a lot of the other rods away, got a couple little backups, Bass Cat's fueled up, ready to roll, and we're going to... Uh, we're gonna catch a big bag tomorrow and win this thing. Six pounds back behind the lead, but with all the opportunity in the world. We are day number three of the Bassmaster Open Championship. Sitting in 11th, six pounds off the lead. Winner goes to the Bassmaster Classic, $50,000 boat and motor, 10 grand cash, Elite Series berth, and second for me uh, is no good. It's win or nothing, and uh, I've got to make a pretty epic comeback. The one thing I know, all I need to know is it's possible, and it is possible. Uh, this is the idle over in the morning, it's always the coolest time for me, it, you know, sun's not up yet, it's still dark, you're just anticipating what's going to happen the day ahead, it's exciting, this is what tournament fishing is just, it's, all, it's what I live for, it's what I wake up every morning at four in the morning and fish till dark, is for this day, and I've had hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of bad days but this day is the one that keeps you getting up drives you Looking at the weather and the conditions, we had 10 to 15 miles per hour winds and sun. And if you're a swim bait fisherman, you know there is nothing better than that. I mean, it was ideal conditions for that. And I had a knot in my stomach because I knew I was gonna give this a run. some of the best anglers in the world. They're driving home, 
that's been me a million times over and the feeling the sick not feeling I get from having to drive home when those guys are competing is is has been a massive drive into making sure I'm there on the last day every time. Oh, he's a good one. Go. Woo! Yeah. Now we're starting. There you go. Now we're starting. Now we're starting. You had nothing, son. Good job, man. Awesome. Woo! Looks like a spotted bass largemouth hybrid looking thing. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, you're gonna go nuts, I know it. Thank you, I needed to see that. One of the coolest parts has been able to bring so many fans along. Um, we had YouTube live playing on the front, so people from all around the world and Australia are staying up all night just to watch this final day go down. All the conditions and everything are lining up for me to make a real run at this thing. And Table Rock's a very different lake. It's fall conditions, water temperature's dropping, the fish are still deep, bang! A big three pound spot came up and smoked the swim bait right in front of the boat. I boat flipped that thing in and grab it and my whole attitude changed. And I said, that's it. I'm throwing this swim bait until the end and whatever happens, happens. I came in on this dock and I fished the dock nothing and I, I thought about running to the dam totally new situation and I see this break wall in front of a marina big commercial marina we're not allowed to fish it but the outside break wall is fishable something I hadn't even made a cast at for the last six, seven days. Hadn't even made one single cast. Wind was blowing up on it, things look right, and I pull up and it's on. And every second cast with the glide bait, I'm getting three and four pound spotted bass coming out, just smashing it, some hooking up, some not. Giants now can make this happen. You are not getting away, were you? Number three, guys. That's a that's a two two and a quarter. And I come out of there with three fish, and knowing I'm only two bites away from making a dream become reality.
still grinding, I'm fishing as many different spots as I can, and I get that 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 number four bite off the end of this on the end of this deep dock. Another big spotted bass comes out, smashes the glide bait. I boat flip it. Now I know I'm one bite away from becoming the first Australian to ever fish the Bassmaster Classic. First ever real break uh, coming here in America. I know I'm one bite away from making that happen. I got an hour to go and I know it's all about decisions and I just I fished my heart out that's all I can say and I did everything that was possibly human to put that in my favor to catch that one fish I knew I needed that one big bite to make it happen and I literally made a cast at 3.15 when the check-in was at 3.15, I was still making a cast because I knew I needed that bite and I was just one bite away from happening and it just didn't happen. Sometimes it's just not your turn. Sometimes, you know, you just gotta, you gotta look at things and, and wonder why and when is it gonna be my turn. But, um, but I can take nothing but positives out of this tournament. I learned so much. I'm just growing as an angler every day. I think that was my seventh check in a row in a tournament and I gave it a real run against the best anglers in the world. And there's nothing negative I can say about that. came all the way from Australia. Four fish for you, one try to limit. I know you were working hard out there. I saw you with that uh, glide bait, just trying to get those big bites. Looks like you got a few of them. Four fish, you need nine, 10. Bam, 10 pounds and 14 ounces, 10, 14. Great season for you though, thank you, Luke. I appreciate you fishing with us on the forward. Seeing you down the line. Who man, you literally just needed that one more bite, didn't you? Yeah, this is, uh. This is gonna haunt me, this one. I, you know, I, I left one out there on the first day. Yesterday, dumped a six beside the boat. Um, just a, a little error. And then uh, today, just needed that one more bite and I knew it all day. I thought it was gonna be tough, but yeah, I can't complain. This whole year has been amazing. It's just awesome to be here on championship uh, Saturday, competing against these guys. Um, coming from Australia, it's a, uh, crazy dream to have to think that I can make it to the Bassmaster Classic and I was out there today really thought it was going to be my time and it was going to happen but I caught all my fish this week on a little Molex uh, crankbait and then I caught them on their little MF jig and that sort of got me through to uh, where I was yesterday and then late about an hour to go I said if I'm gonna if I'm gonna go out I'm gonna go out swinging and I picked up the big glide bait and, uh, and, and just started throwing it and, and it was on. And today, even with that wind, that the fish actually really liked it when it was cloudy and rainy. They were biting it and I thought today would get better, but it was tough and uh, I ended up catching them big spotted bass. Just I just kept it in my hand all day because I thought 
18 pounds as possible and just needed that one more probably it's going to be super close um, I just want to say a huge thank you to all my sponsors my supporters that get me right through next year is going to be a super exciting year I couldn't do it without everyone my girl oh my fiance Kayla that's the, right. fir <laughs> that's the first time I've been been able to say that <laughs> um, without her and Rue she just you know makes this whole thing come together couldn't do it without her and uh, I just want to say thank you to Bassmaster for just running amazing tournaments the classic is the is the dream for me it's uh seeing that stage seeing the crowd that's what i saw when i was 15 years old and uh and and that's what drives me every single day to just continually get up get knocked down and come back and uh you know i've had my song picked out that i want to weigh into on the bassmaster classic so that that dream's going to happen i thought it was going to be this week but um we're going to fall short i think but i'll uh i'll be there next year grinding away i have no doubt about that 10 pounds 14 ounces today 31.15, your new leader, Carl Jockamson. Have a seat, my friend. Way back from 19th all the way to, to giving this thing a real shot. Had the fish on to win. Um, you know, and that you can't ask for much more than that. When things are going to happen, it's going to happen. My time's coming. Um, got a lot of exciting things coming up. It's an awesome end to the year. The industry has some great things coming. Next year looks as exciting as ever. I made the one of the one of the few anglers to make both championships, the Bass and the FLW Opens champion chip, and uh, I'm heading there next week. So we still have one big tournament left to go for the year, and uh, you know everything uh, everything is good. Life's good. Enjoying being a professional angler and working my way up in the ranks, and uh, I have no doubt my time's coming very soon. I'm not trying to sell you on this idea in the sense of converting you to it. I want you to play with it. I want you to think of its possibilities. I'm not trying to prove it. I'm just putting it forward as a possibility of life to think about.